hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king 2 and today i'm gonna be giving you part 12 of what if naruto had the sharing gun and the biak gun mix remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and also go ahead and check out the new episode of what if naruto joined the akaske i post a new episode of that and i also posted a new episode of what if naruto was trained by kaguya over an anime king and i also post a new episode of what if naruto created his own village so go ahead and check out that as well and remember guys if you're new and this is the first time hearing my voice overall and you enjoy the what ifs on both channels go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join anime king too and also go over to anime king guys and if you enjoy the what ifs over there as well Click that red subscribe button and become a part of the anime king family as well. So yeah guys, and remember if you're new, comment down below and tell me where I'll be replying and talking back to all of you. So without further ado, let's get straight into this new episode. So to do a little bit of a recap, the last time we left off, Naruto finishes battle with Lee, as the both of them had a hectic battle but after removing his seals on his body. Lee became no match for Naruto as Naruto started pummel on Lee until Naruto beat him so bad but Lee still got up. Naruto then took off his lightning sword off his back as he was ready to end it. But he then noticed that Lee is knocked out cold but he just want to fight so badly that his body get up by itself. As Naruto did nothing but chuckle, he then called the proctor to end the match. The match was then ended and Naruto was declared the winner. As Naruto told Kakashi to go ahead and focus on Sasuke alone, he would train by himself. It was then that Naruto was kidnapped by someone as he opened his eyes when he arrived at the place to meet Danzo. As Danzo offered to train Naruto for the month seeing that he has no one. As Naruto after thinking accepted it as Danzo then put Naruto through a brutal training. A training that he's never been through for his entire life as Naruto's body was sore and aching after every day of training he had to rest a lot but it really paid off so the last part we left off was when Naruto arrived at the stadium to take part in the finals of the training exams as Sasuke hadn't arrived yet but knowing Sasuke he would want to do a flashy entrance so yeah guys that was basically the last part we left off you guys can stroke across the playlist and check it out for yourself. So, let's start this new episode. The first match was Shikamaru vs Temari. And this battle is going to be same as canon, where Shikamaru gave up, saying that he was almost out of chakra, so it doesn't make sense that he continue on. As the proctor then called the match and declared Temari as the winner. Jenma then looked around as he realized that Sasuke was not here. He then sent one of the chonins up to the Hokage. Lord Hokage said the chonin. As the Hokage looked at him, Sasuke Uchiha is not here yet. What should we do? The Raikage looked at Saratobi. You can't even keep tracks of your Jennings? He asked. As Saratobi chuckled. Well, I am sure that he would be here, but he couldn't get to finish that sentence. As Kakashi and Sasuke arrive in the arena. Are we late? Kakashi asked Jenma. Right on time, said Jenma. Well, good luck Sasuke, said Kakashi. As Sasuke was about to walk up his stance as well. No, it's your match now, said Sasuke. As Sasuke just stands still. Jenma then announced Sasuke Uchiha versus Dosu. As Dosu came down to the arena. As Kakashi body flickered up to the stance. As he went where Guy and the other senseis was. It is always like you to be late Kakashi said Guy. What were you doing anyways? Huh? Guy, did you say something? Kakashi asked. As Guy sweat dropped. You really didn't hear me? Guy said. Seeing Sasuke, Naruto had a big smile on his face. Now, let's see what that one month of training make you can do now. As Jenma asked the both of them if they're ready. The both of them nodded. As Jenma said begin. As he sunshin away. Dosu then jumped back as he quickly went through hand sign as he launched a sound cannon at Sasuke. 
as he came at Sasuke with incredible speed, but Sasuke vanished. Sasuke didn't appear beside Dosu as he delivered a powerful kick towards Dosu's side, sending Dosu hurtling back, but Dosu regained his composure as he turned and glared at Sasuke as he was holding on to his side. He then put his two hands forward as he released a double sound cannon. Sasuke rushed forward, but before the attack could hit him, he vanished again, moving with incredible speed. He appeared right beneath Dosu as he uppercut Dosu in the ear. Sasuke then kicked him up some more as Sasuke flipped in the ear. Lion barrage, Sasuke said, as he slammed his feet into Dosu's stomach, sending Dosu spiraling into the ground. As there was a huge slam as Sasuke then landed gracefully. As he looked down at Dosu, who was unable to move, Sasuke has gotten really powerful over the one month. Seeing that he wants to catch up to Naruto, he trained extra hard. Genma then arrived at the arena. Wait, is he out? As Genma walked over, Sasuke Uchiha is the winner. As the crowd then erupted, as everyone started to clap and cheer Sasuke on, as Sasuke simply walked up to the finalist box. I must say, the Uchiha has skills, said the Raikage. Yes, he does, said Saratobi with a smirk on his face. But the Raikage was curious about Naruto, as he was the one that his team was going to capture and bring back to the village, because with him, they could start a new bloodline of this strange dojutsu that he possessed. A mixture of the Byakugan and the Sharingan, that is what he wants in his village. So he couldn't wait to see Naruto's battle. The Proctor then announced the next battle as Sasuke made it up. Sasuke looked at Naruto as Naruto gave him a smirk. Well, it seems you have gotten strong. And I can tell that you have gotten strong as well, said Sasuke. As he looked at Naruto from head to toe. Well, I guess it's time for my match now. As Naruto then turned his sights as he looked at Yujito. Hello, Yujito. So, you know my name, she said. Of course, I remember they call it. Saying the both of us are going to fight for the finals. So, are you ready? Naruto asked her. Ready as I'll ever be, she said. I like your attitude, said Naruto. Let's have a good match. Well, don't wimp out and die, said Yujito. As Naruto chuckled to himself. Oh, trust me, I won't. The proctor then called out. Naruto Uchiha versus Yujito as the audience then erupt again as they wanted to see the other Uchiha fight. As the both of them made their way down to the arena peacefully as Naruto walked by Gara, as Gara was giving Naruto a dead glare but Naruto paid him no mind. As Naruto then looked back as Sasuke gave him a nod saying to do your best as Naruto just nod back. The both of them arrive in the arena. As Genma asked them if they're ready, the both of them nodded. As Genma then said begin as he disappeared. Yujito pulled out her sword. So you're going for the sword first huh? said Naruto as he pulled out his lightning sword. Yujito then rushed at him as he rushed back at her. As they slammed their sword together as there was a lot of sparks flying in the arena. As the both of them start to push back for dominance now, as Naruto let lightning tackle in his sword as Yujito had to jump back. She stabbed her sword into the ground as she ran through hand sign, fire style, flaming mouse as she released a flame that shaped like a mouse and it was a lot of them as Naruto ran through hand sign, water style, water wall as water shot out of his mouth and created a water wall that protect him as both attacks die down. As Naruto smile, but I must say, you have caught my interest already, so let's continue this shall we? As he rushed forward as they started cling their swords together again. Meanwhile, up in the stands, Tamari was looking around. As she looked at her sensei who was a distance away from her. As she wondered what is stalling the invasion, they said that between the match of Naruto and the girl, the invasion would start. So what is keeping them? As she wondered if something was wrong. 
She then turned her attention back to the fight as both Naruto and Yujito jumped back. Well, I must say, you're stronger than I thought, said Yujito, but I will still win this. As she runs through hand sign, lightning style, lightning current, as she slammed her hand on the ground and a wave of electricity rushed towards Naruto. Naruto runs through hand sign, earth style, mud wall, he said, as he created a mud wall. As the Raikage narrowed his eyes at Naruto, the match just starts and he's already used two affinities. Naruto then jumped to the side as he was already going through hand sign. Wing style, wing tornado, as Yujito was picked up in a wing tornado that was spinning her around as it slammed her into the wall with great force. As the Raikage narrowed his eyes, Okage, how many affinities does this boy possess? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't actually know. But he already show earth, water and wind and he's a Uchiha and he's able to use fire. So the last one is left is lightning and that would make him have all 5 affinities. So let's see said Saratobi. As the Raikage turned his head back to the match, Yujito picked up herself as she dusted off herself. You know that kind of hurt she said. Whoa you're strong said Naruto. You better believe it she said. As she rushed forward and grabbed back her sword, she came at Naruto with blinding speed but Naruto was fast enough to react as Naruto stopped her. Naruto then take a kunai out with his other hand as he threw it in the air. He then run through one handed hand sign, Shadow Shuriken Jutsu, as the kunai then multiply in to a lot as it was coming down on both of them. What are you going to do you idiot, you're going to get hurt too. Not so much said Naruto. As he then turned his hand, as he flipped over, he then appeared behind her as he lifted her up to the side and shoved her up as she was going right towards the cool knights that were coming. She quickly ran through hand sign, fire style, flaming mouth she said as she fired a couple of them, knocking away the cool knights but one of them pierced her in the leg as she dropped to the ground. She quickly pulled it out and threw it to the side, you bastard she said to him. As Naruto chuckled, she rushed at him again but her movements were getting slow because of the stab that she received in her leg. As Naruto dodged her to the side, he then kicked her in the stomach, sending her hurling back a bit but she stopped herself. She then runs through hand sign as her sword started to cackle with lightning resembling Naruto's. She placed her sword in the ear as she started to spin it around, lightning style, lightning dragon. As she striked her sword up, as she created a lightning dragon that was off her sword, as she sent it at Naruto. Naruto runs through hand sign. Well, let's cancel this out. Lightning style, lightning dome. As he created a lightning dome around him to protect him. As the Raikage eyes went wide, he really possessed all of them, the Raikage said. As Saratobi smiled, well, it seems like Naruto has gotten a lot stronger. Damn it. You possess lightning as well, said Yujiro. Yeah, I do, said Naruto. Well, shall we finish this? Well, we will, she said. As she got down on all fours, it was then that her fingernails and her toenails started to get sharp. She then dashed towards Naruto at a greater speed. It seems like her speed was enhanced by a lot. As she slashed at Naruto, but Naruto turned his arm just in time, but her fingernails scratched him a bit. Whoa, you got faster, said Naruto, as he jumped back, as he was playing this too cool, as Danzo was there as well watching. Naruto is showing off, he said to himself. Yujito then appeared behind him with dazzling speeds, as he turned around, but she vanished again as she appeared behind him. She kicked him in the back as he was sent flying forward, she appeared in front of him, as she kicked him up into the air. She did appear above him as she delivered an ox kick right to his stomach that sent Naruto hurling down as he slammed into the ground with a huge impact as she landed a distance away. As her features looked more animalistic, as she growled. When the dust cleared, Naruto was lying on his back with a huge smile on his face. Well then, I have guess you've gotten stronger. He then got up as his hair started to shadow his eyes. Now, it's time that I use this. 
as he snapped his eyes back open to reveal that his hexagon had changed. The outer layer of his eye looked like a normal biak gun but inside there was now three totems and they were red as all of his training with Danzo has pulled off as he was able to get the three totems now. It's the first time I'm using this in a battle so let's see how they do against you. She rushed at him again as she clawed at his face but Naruto simply dressed back as her claw passed him. She then brought her feet up to kick him but he turned to the side as her feet passed him. She then stabbed her hand forward to pierce him in the stomach but he turned as her hand passed him. He then grabbed her wrist as he lifted her up in the air. As he flipped up and ran through hand sign, she brought down her hand to try and slash him in the face. Wind palm said Naruto as he sent a wind palm right into her stomach as he sent her flying straight into the ground. As she slammed with a huge impact as Naruto landed back, come at me. It was then that she got up and red chakra came around her. Maybe. Give me more of your chakra she said. Let me put this boy in his place. You won't go overboard Yujito said the Nibi. I know. Just let me put him in his place. Okay said the Nibi. I will give you just a little because we can't afford for you to lose your mind right here. Okay said Yujito. As red chakra surrounded her. Raikage you know if she take this too far it will be disaster said Saratobi. Don't worry. She won't release the full tail beast right here. That strained her body too much and the tail beast inside of her is her friend. So she won't do that. As Saratobi start to worry as he wonder if Naruto will accidentally release some of the Kayubi's chakra. People doesn't know about that and he won't want them to find out. Yujito then dashed at Naruto as she brought her claw down to slash him again but Naruto sidestep her. As he kicked her on the feet, making her trip forward, he then appeared behind her as he knocked her in the back as she dropped right on her face. He then kicked her in the stomach as she flipped in mid-air, she landed back on her feet. She then burst off towards him as she was tearing out the ground while she was running as she brought up her claw but Naruto turned to the side as she passed him. Why can't I hit you she growled as she kept on sending strikes after strikes but Naruto was dodging all of them because with these eyes I can predict and see all of your movements and also my body react to your movements on its own. Fire style red stream in flame as he sent out a red stream of flame towards her as it engulfed her but when it cleared it showed her unharmed so I guess you're used to that flame using the red chakra and all. So come on let's keep it up. Naruto took up his sword as lightning started to cackle through it. She rushed at him as she came to slash as Naruto stopped her with his sword as she forced another hand on it as she was coming down hard pushing Naruto. Lightning started to cackle around his sword as Naruto cut right through her nails as she jumped back. She looked down at her nails but the red chakra came over them as they return and grow back to normal. Damn it said Naruto. I have to end this now or I am going to wear out myself and you are going to be perfectly fine with that red chakra. He stabbed his sword into the ground. As he ran through hand sign and slammed his hand on top of the sword, lightning style, lightning storm. It was then the ground underneath her exploded and a huge bolt of electricity came out from all angles shocking her as she winced in pain she was caught in the dead center. Naruto then pulled up his sword as he started to spin it as lightning was cackling all over it. Lightning style. Lightning slash! As Naruto released a bolt of lightning that was rushing towards her as it hit her dead on. She was caught in the lightning storm that Naruto created. As it hit her right in her stomach as she was sent flying back as she slammed hard into the wall. As everyone couldn't believe what they were seeing. A genin possess this amount of power. What is this kid made of? After a few seconds, Yujito came out of the wall. She no longer had the red chakra around her but she was still on her feet. Nibi, I need more power. 
No, I can't do that, Nibi said. It will cause you harm. Damn it, Yujito cursed. I cannot lose to him. Why not, the Nibi asks. I just can't. Why? She asks again. I don't know why. There is just a feeling. I can't lose to him. Well, I won't give you any more power. It will only hurt your body and left you in the hospital for a longer time. So please, just fight as the best as you can, okay? Alright, said Yujito. As she picked up her sword, let's end this, shall we, she said, as she rushed towards Naruto, as she was moving much slower than usual, as Naruto blocked her strike, as he felt the little bit of strength behind it. As he pulled back his sword and dodged his side, he then fixed her in the stomach as she was sent keeling over. She dropped on her back as she looked up. She already used the Nibis chakra and that took a toll on her body, so she was feeling extremely weak by now. Naruto then got over her as he placed his sword at her neck. Give up, said Naruto. She huffed as she looked at him. I must admit, you're strong, she said. Alright, I give. The proctor then appeared in the field. Naruto Uchiha is the winner, he announced, as the crowd then erupted again as everyone was clapping and congratulating Naruto, as Naruto then gave Yujito a helping hand, huh, she said, come on, as she took his hand as he pulled her up, are you okay, I am fine, she said, as she then stumbled off her feet and was about to fall, but Naruto caught her, don't worry, I got you, said Naruto, as he then picked her up bridal style, making her blush like crazy as everyone in the arena just looked down at them. What are you doing? She said, put me down. Don't worry, your body is exhausted. I'm going to carry you to the medic, said Naruto. It's not like I'm going to do anything bad. Put me down, this is embarrassing, she said. Would you rather I carry you on my back? He asked. No, that is even more embarrassing. Just be quiet, I'm gonna carry you. It's not really a big deal, said Naruto. Why are you acting that way? Come on. As she just went quiet as Naruto brought her to the medic. As the medic appeared with a stretcher, as Naruto placed her down on it gently, as her face was red. As Naruto then placed a hand on her forehead, why are you so red? He asked, as she started to blush even more. As she just turned her head, as the medics took her away. Bye now, said Naruto, as she just went off with the medics. Naruto then went back up to the stands. So, you have really learned a lot, Naruto, said Sasuke, as Naruto already deactivated his hexagon. You too, I can see that you become strong. But that is the goal, said Naruto, for us to become strong enough so we can get our revenge. Yes, it is, said Sasuke with a nod. Genma then announced the next battle. That will be Samui versus Gara of the Sand. It was then that Naruto felt his eyes going drowsy as he looked all around the arena to see feathers falling from the sky. So it begins, said Tamari. Come on, Gara, let's go, she said. As she took Gara, as the both of them retreat under the chaos, as Naruto saw them as they were heading to the forest so Gara could transform. What the hell is going on? Oh, Genjutsu, release! Sasuke did the same as the both of them looked around clearly. They then heard a loud thud as the wall break apart as a three-headed snake entered the village. What the hell, said Naruto. This reek of him, Orochimaru. It was then the Kazekage stood up in the Kage's boot. As Saratobi narrowed his eyes at the man. What is going on, said Saratobi. Invasion, said the Kazekage. As four people appeared from behind the Kazekage, his bodyguards, as they tried to attack Saratobi, forcing him outside as he break through the window and landed on the academy roof. The Kazekage landed on the roof as well, as the four bodyguards then run through Hansine as a small purple barrier appear around the four of them. They then do it again, as this time a large barrier surrounded the entire place of the academy, trapping Saratobi and the fake Kazekage inside. Kazekage, what is the meaning of this? The Kazekage started to chuckle. Well, 
the thing is, Harrison, it's an invasion, like I said. And I am not the Kazekage. The Kazekage then took off his mask to reveal his face. Orochimaru, said Hiruzon. Yes, the one and only Orochimaru said that smile on his face. As he looked at Hiruzon, My, my, you have really aged, haven't you? Hiruzon growled as he teared off his cloak to reveal his battle armor underneath it. Well, looks like you are prepared for me. I know that something might happen. So I prepared myself, but I never expected I'd see you here," said Hiruzon as he looked at Orochimaru. Well, Konoha is going to be down today, and I will crush it, along with his Hokage, you. As long as I am Hokage to this village, I won't allow you to do anything to it, and I will fix my mistake I made years ago by letting you leave. I will take care of you, said Hiruzon, as Orochimaru chuckled. Then bring it, old man, he said. Meanwhile, down in the stands, San and Sound Shinobis appear as the Konoha ninjas broke the Genjutsu and start a battle. Damn it, this isn't good, thought Kakashi, as he also saw the one tailed Genjulki retreating into the woods. Knowing that it must be something bad, he then looked over and saw Naruto and Sasuke fighting off a Sound Nin as Naruto knocked him out as Sasuke knocked out his opponent. Naruto, Sasuke, he said, as the both of them came towards him. What's going on, Kakashi-sensei? Well, it's an invasion, said Kakashi. But I have a special mission for the both of you. And what is that? Naruto asked. That sad ninja, Gara. He possessed the one tail Shikaku inside of him. And I believe that they're doing something very bad. They took him as the invasion start and bring him to the forest. So I need you two to go out there and stop anything that they're trying to do. Can I count on you guys to do that? Kakashi asked. Sure thing, said Naruto. Sasuke, you ready? Sasuke nodded. Let's go. As the both of them rushed after him. Meanwhile, Samui and Karu and Amoy were looking around at the invasion. What do we do now? Karu asked. This is a perfect opportunity, said Samui. Perfect opportunity for what? Asked Amoy. To capture Naruto. Hey, wait a minute, said Karu. Where is B Sensei? He went off and saying that he'll be right back, said Amoy. Damn it. And Yujito is in the infirmary. What should we do? Amoy asked Amoy. Why are you guys looking at me? I am not the leader here, she said. Yeah, we know, but what should we do? Our mission was to capture Naruto and bring him back to the village. And I don't know where the hell he is, as she looked around. But we have to cut this short as two sound ninjas rushed towards them. Back with Naruto and Sasuke, the both of them were hopping from tree branch to tree branch as they were hot on the sand sibling trail as they were catching up to them as both Naruto and Sasuke were moving at a fast rate while the sand siblings were not moving that fast. Naruto then saw them, there they are, said Naruto, as he rushed through hand sign, lightning style, lightning storm! as he sent out a wave of electricity that destroyed almost all of a tree branch as Gara and his siblings had to jump towards the ground. Naruto and Sasuke then jumped down as well. We can't allow you to do whatever you're planning to do, said Naruto. As Temari growled at Naruto. You, why did you follow us, she said. Because I'm here to stop you. Kanko then looked at Temari and Gara. Guys, go on ahead. I'll defeat these guys, he said, as he pulled off the puppet from his back. Are you sure, Temari? asked Kankuro, as he nodded. Come on, Gara, let's go, said Temari. Don't worry, mother. I'll let you out soon, said Gara, as they hopped from tree branch to tree branch. Move out of our way now, said Naruto, as lightning started to cackle through his sword. Kankuro just smirked. I'm going to make sure you brats be put down right here. It was then a swarm of bug came towards Kankro as he flipped over and dodged them. You two, go ahead, I'll handle him. Shino, said Naruto. The one and only, said Shino, as he appeared on a tree branch. Thanks, Shino. As Naruto and Sasuke rushed forward, Kankro tried to stop them but Shino bug blocked him off. As Naruto and Sasuke went after Gara, as they kept up the speed, 
Gara and Tamar were jumping from tree branch to tree branch. Gara, you go ahead and fulfill the mission. I'll deal with them, said Tamari. No more, said Gara. What are you talking about? Tamari asked. I said no more! As Gara hit her upside the head as she was sent flying off the branch. Damn it, said Naruto as she was falling from a tall distance as he rushed over and caught her bridal style. Tamari slowly opened her eyes as she looked up to see Naruto who caught her. As Naruto placed her down, he then jumped beside Sasuke. The both of you, said Gara in a deep voice. The both of you will prove my existence in the world when I kill you. This guy is seriously messed up, said Sasuke. But I guess we can't allow him to do what he's doing. As Sasuke closed his eyes, he snapped them back open to reveal his three totem Sharingan that he achieved in his training. As Naruto activated his hexagon, well, no playing around then. As Gara smirked as San started to twirl around him. Shall we begin? He said. Mother wants blood. But guys, let me end this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, turn on that bell notification to stay posted. Remember to share this to all of your friends on your social media platform. And also go ahead and check out what if Naruto joined the Akaski and over an anime king, my main channel guys, I post a new episode of what if Naruto created his own village and I also post a new episode of what if Naruto was trained by Kaguya so go ahead and check out those and enjoy but for now I'm out see you tomorrow peace